Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. It says that a rectangular vase with a square base and 25 centimeters height is filled with water to its maximum capacity of 1.6 liters. Shelley put some marbles into the vase causing 235 milliliters of water to spill. Then she removes all the marbles from the vase causing a further spillage of 85 milliliters of water. What is the height of the water level in the vase now? Okay, so here is the thing. There was a vase, okay, and that vase was filled to the maximum capacity, which was 1.6 liters. So it was filled to its maximum height of 25 centimeters. All right, this was zero centimeters of height and this is 25 centimeters of height okay and the capacity of the vase is 1.6 liters so when it was filled to the top it could hold 1.6 liters of water all right now Shelley put some marbles into the vase causing 235 milliliters of water to spill so let's uh, see there were some marbles that Shelley put into the vase okay that looked like that and when she put those marbles, obviously, since the vase was filled to the top, it caused some spillage of water and the water that spilled out was 235 milliliters. Okay, this one over here. So there was 1.6 liters of water at first. Let me uh, put that on a model. So there was 1.6 liters of water at first. Okay. This is the model for that. The vase was filled to its maximum capacity of 1.6 liters. So this altogether was 1.6 liters. Okay, let's put some water into this. Actually, let me also put some water into here, the vase. Okay, so it's filled to the top to its maximum capacity and when there are some marbles put into it, some water spills out okay so maybe this is the amount of water that spills out let's uh, maybe shade it like this so this is the 235 ml of water that spilled okay when Shelley put the marbles into the vase okay so next what happened was uh, she Maybe she didn't like the marbles in the vase, so she put her hand into the vase and she removed every single piece of the marble that was there, causing a further spillage of 85 ml of water. So she removed all the marbles, okay, from the vase and caused 85 milliliters of water to spill. So now this 85 milliliters of water also spilled out of the vase. Then how much water was left in the vase? Well, this is how much water was left in the vase now. What is your task? Well, your task is to find out the height of water level in the vase now. So this, suppose this is how much was 235 milliliters of water and this is maybe 85 milliliters of water that spilled out. Then now the water level has dropped to this point, correct? So we got to find out what this height or what this level of water is in the vase. Now there are a few things that are given to us. One is that the height of the vase is 25 centimeters and the vase has a square base. Now if you see here I made the vase uh, quite tall right because vases are usually quite tall but it doesn't really matter if you want you can make it short or anyhow any kind you like it really doesn't matter as long as it's a rectangular vase okay. You only have to keep in mind that it has a square base okay so this is square the base is square which means the length is equal to the breadth or the width and the height well we have to correctly mark it as 25 centimeters all right so let's uh, do our calculations let's find out the height of the water level in the vase now after there has been 235 ml plus 85 ml of spillage okay so what is the volume of water left in the vase now how much is this equal to let's see if there was 1.6 liters at first and there was 235 ml and another 85 ml of spillage 
Then the volume of water left in the vase would be 1.6 liters minus 235 ml minus 85 ml. But 1.6 liters is actually equal to 1,600 ml, right? We've got to convert everything to the same unit. So this is 1,600 ml minus 235 ml minus 85 ml. Well, let me use a calculator for quick calculation. So that would be equal to 1600 0 minus 235 minus 85. So 1280. So there is now 1280 ml of water in the vase. Okay, so from here until here, the volume of water is 1280 ml. Okay, so let me remove some of the water from here because there has been a spillage so we do that let's see we remove some water from here okay so this is the level of water in the vase now and we got to find out the height of the water level now how do we do that well we know the formula for volume so let's see if that will help us okay so we do that here actually let me first uh, make some room here Okay, so here's the formula for volume. Volume is equal to length, L for length, B for breadth, and H for height. So volume is equal to length times breadth times height. Now we know that the maximum capacity of the vase is 1.6 liters, right? Now the length we don't know and the breadth we don't know. So we just write those down as such. And the height, well, the height when the vase is filled to the maximum capacity is 25 centimeters, right? So this is 25 centimeters. Okay, now let's simplify this equation so we get what length times breadth is, okay? So 1.6 liters is 1,600 cubic centimeters, correct? And if we divide that by the height, which is 25 centimeters, then we'll get what the base area is because L times B is the base area but anyway we just write that down as l times b okay now 1600 divided by 25 let me use a calculator how much is that well 1600 divided by 25 is equal to 64 so l times b is equal to 64 centimeter square which means that the base area okay so this area l times b is equal to 64 centimeter square Okay, so from here, from the maximum capacity and the height of the vase, we found out the base area of the vase, which is 64 centimeters square. But how do we use this number to find out the water level? Well, let's use this formula again and we'll see how to use that number, okay? So I erase this one more time, make some room here, and we use the same formula for volume. But this time around, actually the volume is the volume after the spillage. Okay. The volume of water left after spillage will be equal to the length times the breadth times the height of the water level. Okay, So this is height of water level. The length and the breadth do not change, right? It's only the height of the water level that changes after the spillage. The length and the breadth stay the same. So the base area stays the same. So the base area, which is 64 centimeters square, is still 64 centimeters square. And the height of the new water level is what we will find out from the volume. The new volume is 1,280 ml. Well, 1,280 ml is the same as 1,280 cubic centimeters. Okay, the base area, which we know doesn't change, is 64 centimeters square. And the new height of the water level, we'll find out from here, is equal to 1280 divided by the area of the base which is 64 okay so 1280 the volume divided by the base area which is 64 will give you the height of the water level in the vase well, what is that equal to let's see 1280 divided by 64 is equal to 20 so this is equal to 20 centimeters so this height is equal to 20 centimeters. That's it. So after the spillage, the water level reduced. Obviously, there were two spillages. The water level reduced. And from 25 centimeters, now the water level is 20 centimeters.
Okay, that's that about this word problem. All you have to really remember when solving problems that are related to volume of water is this formula volume is equal to length times the breadth times the height of the container or the tank or the vase or whatever. And when the volume of the water in the container changes, it's really only the height of the water level that changes, okay? Because the length and the breadth will stay constant, right? They cannot change. So it's just the height that changes whenever there's a change in the volume. All right, so so long for now. I hope you got what I taught because it's really not that tough. And now please do go and practice as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. There are also several tests here that you can take to find out how clever you're getting. This is M signing off for now. Bye.